So a lot of the projects that we're on, um, and it tends to be they'll, they'll be either project level superintendents or general foremen um, are using it probably 80, 75 to 80 percent of the time, um, and it tends to be a project-based thing. So one of the things that we're working on now is using that system regardless of if anyone is using it in certain capacities for material uh, orders and things like that. If a project is not using it, we definitely will have some components of, of using it, but we're limited because it's only limited to us. So 75, 80 percent, and sometimes more, um, our foreman and general and superintendents, uh, project superintendents are using it. Well, being at Southland, uh, we've always used that tool. So I, I can't say prior to me coming to Southland, I was a general foreman in another company and never used that tool. Didn't know it existed. And, and so, yes, it, I can see how it, it's changed dramatically in regards to being a, uh, a superintendent. So for instance, I'm in Florida and my office is in California and I'm out of the office for a whole week. And I, tend, I travel probably a lot for, for, for a superintendent um, and I don't have to worry about if things are falling apart when I'm not there. And, and part of that has to do with the training, it has to do with the team that I have. Um, I, I promote leadership and development and taking responsibility and, and so uh, I don't have to worry about some of those things. I don't put, I'm not a firefighter, and I think a lot of uh, superintendents tend to be firefighters and tend to kind of rave about being firefighters because they come and save the day. And that's not, I don't, I don't, I'm not looking for that type of glory or attention, nor do I want it, because it limits me what I can do. And so what I believe I can do, um, if I'm doing my real job, is I'm learning and developing myself and growing where I can help people grow in their own capacity and not just go out and fix something that they broke. Um, and obviously things happen and we work around those things and, and learn from them. But more importantly, it's, it's being able to have a job where you can continue to grow and excel. And that really comes down to the investment that you're willing to make and the, the sacrifice you're willing to make to develop your team so you can be in a place where I could be here talking to you now and not worry about my boss worrying about what's happening because everything is, in take, is taken care of.